Welcome, welcome back. My name is Maya. Today, as you can see from the title, we are doing what G Cook did in Tokyo. I just dropped off my luggage because check-in still isn't for a couple more hours, but let's jump back in time first to my first day here when I was going through Shibuya and Harajuku area. Let's go. Let's go. So that scene where they walk over an overpass, I honestly do not know if it's this one. It could be somewhere else. But let's just pretend it's this one. So I'm in the Tokyo Puraza now. The entrance is where they took that video of all of the mirrors and stuff. But inside is actually a mall. I would say it's for like more young people and then they also have like event spaces I guess and then the top floor has a really nice Starbucks where you can see a lot of Tokyo from the terrace but I don't think I'll go today just because I kind of want to go get lunch soon it'll be like an early lunch I'm not even hungry but there's a place that I want to go to I'm sure you'll recognize it right away <laughs> if you know wasn't even that hungry to begin with but it was really good it was just a lot of meat and rice like the portion size was pretty big but I haven't had like I haven't had steak in a while so it was it was good I would I would go again yeah
13, as if everything doesn't just remind me of them. Okay, I just got in to the hotel room. It's tiny. <laughs> it's so small. It's like a condensed version of their room. I mean, it's, it's only a single bed anyways. I feel like I can see the entire room from where I'm standing in the corner. Okay, here is the world's probably shortest hotel room tour. Here's the bathroom. Hello. And here's the bed. The end. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what the view looks like. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, I can see Tokyo Tower. Wow. It's a very nice view. Wow, that was like no reverb. <laughs> I'm tired. Wow, this view is so nice though. It's not the same view that they had in their room. I don't know what side they were staying on. Oof, there's like a hair in there. I don't know what side of the hotel they were staying on. Um, I'm pretty sure when I booked the room though, it was for the city view and not the Tokyo Tower view. Maybe I just got lucky or I didn't read properly. I'm not sure. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the Tokyo Tower view rooms were like slightly more expensive, but I booked like the most basic one there was. But I'm happy. It's so nice here. So this is the hotel that they stayed at. I am in the single room version of it, but this is what it looks like. Let me take off my shoes. <sighs> okay. What am I gonna do for the next little bit? It is now three o'clock. Hmm. It's kind of hot in here. Let me just reorganize my stuff really quick and also tell you why I chose this place. But I actually wanted to say I picked this place not just because they stayed here. I mean, yes, they stayed here, so I just wanted to stay here too. <laughs> but this place actually was not expensive at all. I actually booked this hotel like on the train to Tokyo after I landed because originally I was actually gonna come here a day earlier and leave a day earlier. So I was gonna technically be leaving on today, um, but then plans changed. And so now I'm leaving tomorrow. Anyways, I need to recycle, I need to recycle this. <laughs> I booked this place super last minute. Originally I wanted to stay here the whole time I was here because I was kind of thinking about it beforehand, but there weren't any rooms actually available for like the time period that I'm here for. But there was um, obviously a room available for today, which is why I booked it. Um, this place is, yeah, like I said, it's quite affordable. Like even for such a last minute booking, I think I paid about $80 um, for a night, which of course is like not expensive at all considering that it is in such a convenient area. The train station is like a two minute walk away. Like it's so close. And so I also picked it for its location. Hi, it's me editing Maya and I wanted to give some more information on the hotel real quick. So this is what the REM Hotel website looks like, and as you can see, there are a number of locations across Japan. Funny enough, my mom was actually thinking of staying at the exact location I was at when she was in Japan this past summer, and had no idea that they had stayed there before as well. I didn't book through the hotel website though, and instead used Expedia. This is obviously not sponsored in any way, but I do use Expedia the most when I book for hotels. I decided to just let the website input a random day for one traveler. So for one night on February 27th to the 28th, the hotel room price came out to $113 Canadian. And then to break it down a little more, these are what the prices look like per room. I'm pretty sure I booked the most 
basic economy double room, but I would ended up being put into the Tokyo View economy double room. When I looked back at my statements, I ended up paying 8,894 yen for my one night stay. Of course, for this day, it says it's $140 Canadian. It really does depend on the time of year you go, the day you pick, but I hope this gives a better idea on what kind of price ranges that you could expect. But then also, of course, I'm a fangirl, so like, I just wanted to stay here too. <laughs> uh, like, do I have my own thoughts or is my personality just BTS? Side eye. We don't know, but at least I'm willing to like openly admit it. Even though it's like a little embarrassing to say out loud. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's, let's go, let's go. I was just watching the video again right now. If I had one more day, I definitely would have gone to Tokyo Disneyland. It's absolutely my favorite place on earth. We go there every time we come and visit here. Three days is just simply not enough time to squeeze in an entire day of Disney. Um, so I really, really hope that early next year I can come back and I will be in Disneyland again because I've actually never been to the Disneyland in like America or anywhere else because personally, I just think that Tokyo is superior. And it also had Disney Sea and Disney Sea is my favorite. Like if I had to pick between Disney Sea and Disneyland, I would say Disney Sea. So if you're ever in Tokyo and you're thinking about going to any if you're ever in Tokyo and you're thinking about going to Disneyland, please, 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 please go to Disney Sea as well. If you don't know, it's like a whole other park. It's right beside Disneyland. It has its whole, it, it has its own theme and everything and its own different rides and whatnot. And it only exists here. So please go. <laughs>